shoot the shoot. It's definitely an episode. It's balls. It's balls. Now you can hear the new sound effect that I just put on my soundboard. Material, material girl. You look disappointed. I look disappointed? I think that's just my face. Okay. I might not be able to handle talking to you. And then <laughs> There's a, a movie. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, we should turn it off. No. Okay, I'll leave it on. Well, you could just watch that and I could do my podcast. What is going to be playing? Oh, these are the previews. These are the previews. Yeah. Do we know what movie is going to be? Jingle All the Way. Oh, Jingle All the Way. Oh, that's yeah, why he's up. That's why he's up. Nice. You gotta let the you gotta you gotta let the folks at home because all all these freaking people you watching they're they're Gen Zers. They, they never seen this they're crap. They're Gen Xers. They never, they never seen, seen this that, shit. Yeah. They don't know what fucking. They don't know what uh what is it Turbo Man? Yeah, it's Turbo Man. Turbo Man. Yeah, nice. right. I love it. Turbo all Man. comes together then. Yeah, it all yeah it all comes full circle. With and Kirby. it's Christmas time. Uh, hey guys, welcome back to the podcast. This is a very really good episode. Two hundred and thirty two hundred thirty five. <laughs> We've been here a while, man. Yeah. Fuck. I've been and here every episode. You've been I've here been here a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're just off screen every time. You don't help, which kind you of yeah, kind of around. I'm actually out. like turning off cameras and <laughs> yeah, turning yeah. off the lights. Yeah, that's why I have to go turn them back on sometimes cuz Jacob the camera I'm will go forever. Wildly mischievous. Yeah, I you're am. you get mischievous every 30 minutes on the dot. And, on you the, t- uh, and you turn the camera off. Twenty nine fifty nine. Yeah, those things are going. On. I'm not, <laughs> yeah, you're very punctual in that sense. I am. Uh, that's the thing is, uh, mischief hasn't been punctual lately, and that's mm-hmm. what I'm trying to bring <laughs> yeah, back. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's been really sort of all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it, guys. Mischief has been super disorganized. <laughs> it's time we make mischief great again. <laughs> that's that's good merch. You should do that. Make mischief Shift great. great again with the same Memga. 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 Can I have more mischief, Memga? <laughs> it sounds like yeah, like a like a German baby has it. How they say mama? Memga. 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 Or I don't know how Germans talk. Really, I don't know. It could be. It could be anyway. I've never been loud. There. It's adorable, actually. Yeah, they're mad. Germans are mad. Well, I don't know. You want to go on record? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Well, we got we got my best fucking buddy ever back in the studio today. We got Jacob Andrew Sharp. Hi guys. Hold Hi. On. I just pressed the applause button. Okay. Yeah, that's you a power move. You, you, you right. never know what button I, I'm going to press. That's the tough thing about because uh, I got one of them, and I don't like that you don't know. Unless you're wearing headphones, but then that's weird. I'm not putting on headphones. <laughs> yeah. That's, that that's ridiculous. Yeah, if Maybe I wear it, headphones, <laughs> if it was just me wearing headphones, that's this, funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you had noise canceling headphones. I don't want to hear you. Okay? I don't. I don't listen to these noises. <laughs> these are hilarious. <laughs> these are really funny. You didn't um, do like a like a fuck you or nothing, right? No. Promise. No. Or yeah, oh, I promise. Uh, you don't promise? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't promise. Oh no, I don't know. <laughs> no, I pressed applause. I promise. Can I curse yet? Yeah, we can curse. We yet. can curse. The the hack here is uh usually there's the intro that plays, which is like a minute long. Right. Okay. So usually when the intro is done, I can start going like fuck. Okay, nice. And I'm chill. Because okay. the rule is like the first minute of YouTube. I thought it was down to like thirty seconds now. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, yeah. then yeah, it's fine. Fuck, fucking fuck, 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 shit. Shit okay, on my fuck. Well let's all right, sorry. I the last the episode song. actually got oh, it did limited ads. Probably, uh, I think I was swearing a lot. Can you bleep all them out then? Do you know how? I, Sab- Do you Sabrina, know? my editor, Sabrina, Sabrina, yeah. yeah, she. I don't want to put more. Work Sabrina, on play, bleep but. out everything that Curtis says. Leave everything that I say. Okay, okay. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> what was the last one I did? I was like, who? I can't remember. We were talking about like some like actor, and I was like, make it look like I'm getting kissed by that actor, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, not yeah. Curtis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when were you on last? I don't even remember. Uh, it was a while, a couple, a little while ago, six months, a Maybe. year. It could be a year. It could be. A I year. don't know. Time flies. We talked about. Uh, we talked about because uh, what? What's his name and what's her face? Or bro- got broke oh, up Sebastian with. Balls. Yeah, yeah. We talked Old about his Seven like Lorner. his his like fake coming out video or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That was uh, classic Sebastian. Yeah, keeping me on my toes. I fucking I look him up like weekly he's pretty like low-key now yeah i kind of i because i'm a, I'm a little fucking i'm a little goblin and i want to yeah. i just want to make fun of him all the time <laughs> yeah i want to see you're a little you're a bully you're a grown <laughs> man you're not a goblin you're a, you're a bad guy yeah 
Well, <laughs> Sabrina, I don't think bleep that Sabrina, out. No, bleep no, 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 no. No, I mean, bleep he's... out what he said. <laughs> or bleep, leave it in and leave in what I said. Okay, let's do a Sebastian Bales. No, no we're going to. Good. No internet. Nice. No internet. Quite the setup. Quite the setup here. Yeah. <laughs> if you were like, can you hotspot me? Can you hotspot me? <laughs> Dude, I hotspot myself because I don't want to get Wi Fi here. That's super. <laughs> You're hotspotting yourself right now? Yeah. Because <laughs> then it's like, I'm only here like once a. Once a week. That's true. And I got to call a guy to come and like install it. And then it'll be like, I can come uh, in six months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On uh, Sunday night between 1 a.m. and one uh, thirty a.m. <laughs> so does that work for you? Does that work for you? I guess. Yeah, yeah it's going to sure. have to. And he comes at like 2.30 and he's like, sorry, I was busy. <laughs> I was busy. Okay, yeah, no, nothing yet on the YouTube. Wait, nothing at all? No, that was why that was I left YouTube one. finally coming out. So what was, when was that video released? A year ago. Oh, my God. So no shorts or anything? <laughs> <laughs> mm, Remember that, this guy? That, mm. Mm. <laughs> for, the, for the audio listeners, there's, a, there's like a weird screenshot of, of Sebastian. He's like, and it does sound like he's making the... He, mm? he like looks it, like if Raggedy and Raggedy Andy became a guy, like a full-grown man. <laughs> yeah. Raggedy Mandy. Because <laughs> he's a man. Well, <laughs> Remember this guy? This is him now. <laughs> okay. Doesn't look any different. Okay, so he made this himself. Oh, maybe he's like roasting him like, how much I've grown. Dude, that's actually kind of badass to, do, to make a, a glow up edit of yourself. That's true. That's a fucking power move, actually. But maybe he was hoping after that video that like, Someone would make the edit for him, and it just wasn't and happening. He was just like, Fuck he was like, kind of forcing his hand. To, <laughs> yeah, fuck it, I'll do it myself. All right, I'll yeah. do it. I'll do this one. <laughs> this one's on me. <laughs> you guys have to do the next one. You though. guys, what's that? Fan, that Thanos quote? He's like, fine, I'll do it fine, myself. I'll do it. Yeah, <laughs> that's what Sebastian. All he kind of is the Thanos. Of, all this for one edit, <laughs> <laughs> for one drop of self tan. <laughs> What about his IG? Ooh. Oh, the same photo. Same photo. Yeah, this was that a fucking episode. year ago. Oh, don't make me log you gotta, in. You gotta log Suck in. my dick, bro. That's not even worth it. No. Oh, that's my calendar. Whoops. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you guys know Yeah, that. Instagram. <laughs> Suck my dick. So there's a Sebastian Bales update for you guys. There you go. Um, your, there you go, Balls Army. There you go, Balls Army. Yeah. yeah. So um, what's new, man? How you been? I haven't seen you in so long. Uh, <laughs> That's not true. I saw you like last week. But. I don't know. Pretty nice. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> nice. Anything like huge happened in your life recently? Hmm. Mm-mm. Okay. <laughs> just like, just been sitting down. <laughs> sitting cool. down. Okay. Kind of been in here, actually. Oh, okay. Turn yeah. the cameras on and off. I'm here when you're not here. <laughs> really? <laughs> yep. So I guess I could get Wi-Fi here if you're here all the time. But then how would I hotspot the other people in the building? True. I'm the hotspot guy already. <laughs> Thousands of dollars every month in my oh, phone bill. I'm broke. I owe Bell a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> like, stop hotspotting people. I say, no, no, no. No, no, no. This is my no, job. No, no. I'm the guy. I'm, I'm the hotspot guy. I'm instead of Mr. Hot Stuff, I'm Mr. Hotspot. Yeah. You but, are... Uh, Stop being so uh, so stupid and facetious and silly, Billy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess something kind of happened recently. Whoa. That's awesome. I guess uh, <laughs> maybe I asked a certain someone to be my, my wife forever. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. That's the thing that Borat never explains is that he, it's my wife forever. forever. Yeah. All right. I, I'll hit you with the applause. All right. Let's go. Can I you hit me you like an air horn? Yeah, no problem. Can I do it? My wife. There we go. It's going to sound good. I can't hear it, but it's going to sound good. But yeah, I got, I, I proposed to Eilish. I proposed to my, my beautiful girlfriend, Eilish. Let's go. Who I've been calling my wife as a fun bit. For our entire relationship? Yeah, which I'm and sure she I'm, loves. She thinks it's... Uh, I don't want to talk about her opinion. <laughs> I don't want to talk about her opinion on me calling her my wife for six years. But, uh, but yeah. 
And now uh, we're going to be engaged for, I don't know, probably like another six years. And then married forever. And then married forever. That's good. Six, six, forever. Yeah, not another one. You can't do another one. Don't do another one. (laughs) I don't want fucking... Beetlejuice to show up or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't want that to yeah, yeah. I, I kind of do. Marry him. <laughs> yeah, because he's a good. He's Michael Keaton. Mm-hmm. Good looking guy. Well, good congrats, looking. man. Thanks, buddy. It's uh, it's crazy. everybody spam W in the chat. Yep. W W, uh, w engagement engagement. <laughs> w relationship. W relationship. I uh, but yeah, huge. It's uh, to be genuine, it's the coolest thing ever, and uh, I'm so excited. That's awesome. Isn't it? Isn't it the nicest to marry your best friend that you love with all your heart? It's fucking crazy, man. It's really cool. It's uh. Yeah, it's fucking sick. It's wild. And, uh, Marriage is the best. I uh, I I recommend it to everybody. You got to do it. You got to try it at least. Once. You got to try it. I uh, I was a baby about it though. I uh, I don't know about you, but I was uh, I was bawling my eyes out like crazy. Oh yeah, yeah. you have to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's you hard call, not to. You, call, you you called me after you guys did it. Yeah, I yeah. I was uh, we were both tearing up. Yep, it was it the best. Was, uh, I would have called you, but I was in uh, I was in France. Yeah, and if I would have saw a French number, I would have been like, "Fuck, you <laughs> fuck like, that, kiss, kiss, it, brother. kiss, kiss it. get out of here." But I uh, did I tell you about how I kind of like, uh, like weirdly, like didn't bitch out. I bitched out on my like idea because mm. I brought Eilish to a winery in Bordeaux. Okay, uh, it was a it was a winery where we had like it was on one of our first dates. We had shared a bottle from that winery. Cute. And then so I, I was just us at the winery, and then uh, we did the wine tasting, and then there's this little garden where I wanted to do it yeah. outside of, like, the actual building. And then there's these two guys who worked at the winery who were outside having a smoke in, like, the little garden part. Mm-hmm. So then I was so, like, I was a, a wreck all day. Right. I was just super nervous. crying all day. Just, like, <laughs> and then I, like, I was like, are you okay? I'm like, Yes. Yes. <laughs> You look beautiful. <laughs> You're just like cr- sweating and sweating. shit. Well, yeah. I fall asleep if I'm stressed out. Wow. <laughs> so so we were, were you falling asleep? In the So I got us like that private, the, just the two of us in that car <laughs> yeah. to drive us out there. Uh-huh. And it's just me, her, and the driver. And I'm just like slowly dozing. Oh, my thing. God. And then I was like, basically was like, fucking wake up. Man. Like, <laughs> like, I know. She was like, I obviously know what we're doing. Like, wake up. Yeah, on. wake up. And then... uh <laughs> Uh, we got to the garden, and there's the two guys smoking, mm-hmm. and I'm already a mess, so then I just, like, stopped in front of the two guys, and I was like, okay, I'll just do it here, and then I just went, Eilish, and she went, Jacob, <laughs> <laughs> you're not doing this here. You're going to stay. It's okay. You're doing, like, she had to, like, coach me, like, you're doing great. Wow. Well. Keep walking. It's okay. Just keep walking. <laughs> I was like, okay, thank you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> And Whoa! Like, so we found like a little bridge, and then uh, that's it was good. Just, like just the two of us, and we both like wept and all that. That's good. But I needed her to like. So she was your co. So she like she... knew what was coming, obviously. So uh, yes, because a, m- a month before my sister, was, she kind of spilled called, the beans. She spilled the beans. She called me, and then uh, I was on. She was on speaker, and I told her, "You're on speaker with Eilish." Oh and my she god! Had a phone call, being like, "Oh, are you still proposing to Eilish in Paris?" And I was like. Yo. Yeah, like I just said, you're a, you're a better man than I because if that happened to me, I would have hung up, drove to wherever my <laughs> sister lived, and killed her. I think <laughs> that's so fucking annoying. You had a dead sister. Right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it that's great. Uh, were you like, were you super mad? I was like, I well, like out loud, like my guttural <laughs> reaction was like, oh, 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 yeah, oh, don't do that, <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, <laughs> to like. <laughs> That's crazy. Hoping that my big loud O's would distract Eilish and be like, yeah, it like erases oh. her memory. Yeah, yeah. She was <laughs> yeah. like, what? Uh, oh, what the hell is it? Yeah, that was like the Men in Black. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you're going, oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I do that all the time at home, actually. And, Dude, uh, that'd be so much better if that's how the Men in Black. <laughs> 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 if you just saw an alien and Will Smith comes up, he's like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my God. Calm yeah, down, Will. Calm down. Don't. That's the second craziest thing I've ever done. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't hit me, man. Uh, that'd be really funny, actually. <laughs> Will Smith just smack. Yeah, that's face. how you got your memory wiped. That's how you forget about aliens. Yeah. I had a. I saw this article about. Speaking of Will. Well, sorry. Well, I will say congratulations. Thanks, buddy. That's so, yeah, awesome. That's how I got. And I'm engaged. glad you didn't fucking fall asleep like while you were proposing or anything. I Because I, like, I, <laughs> I do. I can fall asleep. I know, just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, anywhere. It's like a superpower, kind of. It's fucked. 
Yeah, it's pretty you, impressive. There's, I think there's been shows where it's like, Jacob, you got to... Wake up, you're on in like five, in five minutes. minutes. Yeah, you go, like, oh, all right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, this episode of Very Really Good is sponsored by Scentbird. Folks, I read my comments. I see the jokes every day that people make about me saying that I look like I smell. And they're right, I do smell. Good? Yeah. Yeah, I pride myself in smelling amazing every single day because when you smell good, you feel good. I started spraying myself with various body sprays uh, at the age of 13, uh, but now, 16 years later, I've obviously graduated to cologne, and I just love using different smells for different occasions. For example, I have one cologne that I used on my wedding day, so anytime I use that, I'm like immediately transported back to the friggin' best day of my life, dude, and that's what's so amazing about Scent. And that's why I'm so stoked to tell you guys about Scentbird. With a Scentbird subscription, you can choose from their vast selection of fragrances every month, and instead of paying full retail price for a huge bottle that you might not even like, Scentbird sends you a 30-day supply to try new fragrances before deciding if you want to buy the full-size bottle. And just to show you a tiny fraction of the amazing fragrances they have to offer, here's what I got. I got the Sexual Steel by Michel Germain. I don't know how to pronounce it. This one has a top note of ginger, and this one smells like strong and masculine. I feel like this is one that I would wear if I want to get a few ooh-la-las for my wife, you know? I also got the Dolce & Cabana, the one for men. This one has so many different scents all wrapped into one, like grapefruit and tobacco. And I honestly think this one might become my new daily scent because it just, it smells so good. I'm obsessed with it. And lastly, I got this vanilla black pepper from Boho Boco. This one smells sweet and floral, but also with a little bit of spice in there. And I friggin' love it. I feel like if me and my wife are going to like a cool fancy dinner, this is this would be the one I would throw on. And that's the cool thing about Scentbird. You can experiment with different styles of fragrances and find the one that suits your personality and style the best. And don't worry, there aren't just colognes. They have perfumes as well and a ton of unisex options. And let me tell you, dude, some of these fragrances are friggin' luxury, dude. I'm talking like hundreds of dollars, but you get to use them for a fraction of the price. And speaking of a fraction of the price, there's no better time to try Scentbird because they've hooked up you guys with an amazing deal. So make sure to click the link below to visit Semper's website or just scan the friggin' QR code on the screen and use my code really good for 55% off your first month at Scentbird. That's only like eight bucks for your first month. It's a no-brainer. Again, click the link in my description and use code really good for 55% off your first month at Scentbird. Okay, do it. Thank you. Okay, thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring this episode. Let's get back to it. Uh, back to the Will Smith yes. thing. I saw an article... Um, let me see if I can pull it up. It got me thinking because uh, I think Jada Smith, yeah, yeah. or Jada Pinkett Smith. I'm yeah. sorry, um, Jada Essence Hall. I think Jada Essence Hall. Hall. <laughs> I wish. I think she said the slap like saved her marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here it is. Page six. Jada Pinkett Smith says the Oscar slap saved her marriage to Will. I will never leave him. But, like, a couple things here, Jada. <laughs> you already, like, dated your son's buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, that was the... Okay. And then, okay, because she's contradicted this, like, four different times now. Because, mm -hmm. like, I remember, like, a year or two ago... There was, like, an article going... It was right after the slap. It was yeah. when things got, like, really bad. Because she, like, also got... Like, in an interview was, like, I actually never wanted to marry Will. That okay. was, like, another thing from, like, a couple of years ago or, like, last Whoa. year. Yeah. And then I'm... It was my... It's my favorite, I think, tweet on Twitter ever. Mm -hmm. Someone quote tweeted the article and was, like, can we just stop interviewing this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, can, again, can we... Yeah, why does like <laughs> everything every time they interview them they say something crazy about their family? Yeah. I think Willow is like the only one who's like just like I just want to whip my hair back yeah, and I forth. Just, yeah. <laughs> but like now like I'm yeah, rock yeah. Though, you know? I fell in love with the emo girl. Yeah. Okay, I fell after in love with whipping my hair back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, after all those years trying to figure out if I would leave Will's side, it took that slap for me to see I will never leave him. Okay, yeah, th if it's like that's it, you're already you been married for like forever. You're already on the fence about leaving him, but you're like, okay, hit a guy. Yeah, no. never mind. Thanks, babe. 
Who knows where our relationship would be if that hadn't happened? And you know, you know, this is it. I'm. Uh, I don't want to speak on anybody's relationship. Every every relationship is different, you know. But this, you know, I think the. I was thinking this is bad for, you know, this might, to me, this is like, that's pretty gnarly for Will and Jada, but I feel like this is extra bad for Chris Rock. Yeah. Because now I feel like there's proof of, I feel like now every guy in a failing marriage is going to be like, Chris, I got to hit you. (laughs) (laughs) Let me hit you, dude. My wife fucking hates me, man. She keeps cheating on me. This is what's going (laughs) to save it. I need to hit you, bro. I need to see my kids again. (laughs) Chris, Chris, let me fucking hit you. Please, just one. Chris, let me rock you. Just (laughs) one. Chris, rock. FaceTiming your... (laughs) Did it help? Watch this, babe. (laughs) He's got Chris Rock, like, tied up in the back. Sorry. And, like, a deep... And, like, a fucking... Like a, like a saw type, like, fucking yeah, dingy bathroom. He was in saw. Yeah, he was, yeah. Chris is fucking like, <laughs> help me! <laughs> Get, what the fuck? Some, like, normal ass dude just like, yeah. you want to play a game? <laughs> yeah, do you want to play a game? You want to play a game? It's called Fix My Marriage. It's called Let Me Hit You in the Face. <laughs> yeah, please. Babe! That's, babe, babe look, look, Chris! You love me now, right? <laughs> I hit him, just <laughs> like Will did. <laughs> it's like, no, also, this is why I hate you. You keep hitting people. And, like, it's also, like... Sure, if like if you're looking for a guy to like defend your honor and mm-hmm. all that, that sure. It wasn't, in my opinion, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't that bad of a joke. Yeah, there's because she had like a shaved head or something, and it was referencing a movie she had done before, right? Like G.I. Jane or whatever. Yeah, that was it. I, I think. think so. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't really fully understand the joke even. Like, I didn't really I know what... he was what... just saying, like, is there going to be, like, a second movie? Because now you got that haircut. Which I guess is, like... Okay. But I think at the time she was dealing with, like, losing her hair. I yeah, can't remember, so I can't remember the details but of like, it, yeah. <sighs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's like... It's, 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 I just think in the realm of what that family has been made fun of for, <laughs> if you're going to hit anyone in the face... Yeah. Like, it was just... It seemed a little... Yeah. Extreme. Yeah, I would want to hit the the guy who like slept with. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like that's who He's I would like want. my fucking kid's buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a bit much. Yeah, not to rehash a slap that happened like fucking like a year. When was exactly. it? Like a year ago? Yeah. Two years ago? I don't even know. But. but like, but also, if we're gonna, we'll have to rehash it because they keep bringing it up. Mm-hmm. This fixed my marriage. <laughs> yeah. Also, like, what was what were the terms? That you like what? What made you fall in love? Yeah, he Were was you falling maybe, in love on like the idea that maybe one day he would slap someone slap for you, specifically maybe Chris Rock, <laughs> yeah, a fellow comedian, right? Like, I mean, I'd do anything for my wife too. If she was like, "You have to slap Chris Rock, or I'm leaving you," I'd be like, "Well, one, that's pretty unfair, but two, sure, because yeah, sure. I love you." Yeah, hundred percent. And then I go kidnap, hypothetically, hypothetically. I would, and then you know, I would get uh, the doll, and I get the doll on a little on a little tricycle. Little tricycle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do my makeup. I'd be dressed to the nines yes. in the saw a cosplay. You look, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. D- dressed to the nines. <laughs> dressed as, to the uh, saw nines. What's his name? John Jigsaw. No, but the Jig- John Jigsaw. <laughs> John Jigsaw. Old Johnny Jigsaw. <laughs> <laughs> I'd look exactly like Johnny Jigsaw. Johnny Jigsaw. And then I give him a big old Jigsaw slap, slap to the face. <laughs> yeah. I freaking whack him. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a good whack. <laughs> yeah, I just thought it was, I thought it'd be funny that for feel like a lot of people, men in failing marriages start like hunting Chris Rock down to slap him, or if he could go the other way and do like you know how in like mega churches they have like you know, people come up and like people are like you are saved. Yeah, yeah. He could do that. People come up, they give him a slap, slap. Yep. and then Smack they the shit out pay of like ten grand or something crazy. Yeah, I could see Save that. Save a marriage. But I always find that when people are doing that at the mega churches, it's always to like, I always find it's kind of like always for like a fucked up reason. Or like it's yeah. stuff that's like, they're like, I have terminal cancer. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then they're like, well, this will help. Well, let me just say you don't have it anymore. Let me just shake you a bunch. Of <laughs> God, don't, don't let you get that anymore. Yeah. God said no. God said no to the <laughs> cancer. Yeah, have you ever seen those videos? Are crazy they of are. like the mega church and they put a hand on them and they go like, "Yeah, <laughs> it's they're the ones where they're like, they're they're super fucked up when they're like, my son has 
autism. Yeah, can yeah, you, yeah. What can we do, dude? About is that? that the fucking one I saw? Did you see that one? I also just on the Will Smith point. I'm now thinking about people putting like in their like uh, like Tinder bios and like Hinge bios, like like or like like looking for a guy who's willing to like smack Chris Rock to defend my honor. Just looking for like a casual guy <laughs> yeah. casual hookup yeah, where yeah. you might smack Chris Rock to defend my honor. <laughs> defend my honor real quick. Uh, there was like a fucking video of a dude at a mega church who was like that and he was like, my family has a curse and my yeah, son has yeah, autism. that's the one on TikTok that yeah, I saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe so- I'll search on TikTok then. Because that video is fucking yeah. crazy. It, he also like... <laughs> oh, not the D'Amelio's. <laughs> yeah, was it the D'Amelio's that did that? <laughs> <laughs> um okay would it be like mega church curse oh man i can't fucking there's so many so many stitches yeah enough of the stitches man what are we a fucking hospital or are we a fucking hey, okay. trauma center what yeah. are you doing what are you uh, one of my favorite clothing stores in the mid 2000s <laughs> stitches, stitches. Oh, it's this one, this is one, this is one. Right now. Is there anything you wanted to renounce? Yeah, this one. I want to renounce a generational curse. My child is... God is setting you free right now. Is there anything you wanted to renounce? I want to renounce a generational curse. My child is autistic. Dude, he points in the audience too. He's there. Also, a generational curse? What are you talking about? (laughs) You mean like... Do you think this is a a curse? (laughs) Yeah, to call uh, hex on you? Yeah, to call autism a curse is fucking crazy. Also generational? Yeah, what do you mean? Yeah, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? about? <laughs> you mean the generation before you, your son, <laughs> the generation after you, just ha- as a kid with autism. It's not a generational about? curse. <laughs> as if like a doctor would be like your child, like your child, child is generationally is cursed. Like, generationally, that's the generational curse <laughs> of, of autism. autism. Everyone in this generation has it. You talk to the t- the worst doctor in the world. Yeah, yeah, a really fucked up, mean doctor. He's he's not. He's, he has no brains at all. Like we've tried. Yo, like, Whoa. dude. He has no hey, brains at all. It's your fucking kid, you dickhead. What are you talking? You have no brains at all. Yeah, smooth brain, motherfucker. What the hell, dude? Wh- what? Everything, and um. I've gone through deliverance before, and it's just so hard to break this curse. God is breaking this generational. Okay. Here's the thing. <laughs> couple things <laughs> yeah, here. Couple notes. Couple notes. Nope. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> no. Number two. God. Well, number one, if you're going to believe in God, God gave your kid autism. Yeah, which so is fine. fine. Totally fine. Yeah, there's nothing wrong so with being So there's a couple dizzy. loopholes in all this already. Mm-hmm. Also, uh, yeah, no, it's not, and no, he can't. No, he won't. There's nothing to do. There's nothing. No, there's not There's not really, like, a cure, because it's not, like, really anything wrong, no. right? It's just, like, a different way of different, exactly. a different brain, right? And uh, the craziest thing, though, is how he, how he reacts to what she does. Yes, yeah. Oh, he reacts like, uh, yeah, we'll just, yeah, we'll watch it right now. Thank you, Jesus. His power is here right now. It is time now. (laughs) (laughs) Dude, like that's gotta be the most like, you know, those glazing thing, like the dick riding is so real. To act like that on stage, yeah, the dick riding of God is crazy. Dude, okay, yes, the dick riding for God is fucking is insane. wild. To like completely, because that's, I'm sorry to say, but that's cap. You got to be capping. Yeah, it's bullshit. Man. You're lying if you're you're out of your mind. <laughs> uh, like, also, it hurts. Yeah, why does it hurt? <laughs> it <laughs> it hurts. hurts. It hurts to get your for for oh, God to remove dude. the autism from your. It hurts you. Yeah, it hurts you. <laughs> I thought this was... It would. Cool. Isn't this what you wanted? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What the fuck? For your deliverance and your family's deliverance, I break every generational curse off of you. Off Dude, of the- 
And His the, son the, in the audience is probably like, what the fuck, fuck are you, are you doing, doing, Dad? What's <laughs> wrong with you? <laughs> also, you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> like, you just said, also, I would look around at every... If I was a kid, I'd be like, fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah, fuck off. You just said I have no brains, and you're doing <laughs> you're this. You're doing that? <laughs> and everyone's like, hooray! <laughs> Dude, all right. This wow. is like... like uh, sorry, uh, mega church folks, but you guys are... F- so you guys are fucking dick riding idiots, dude. It's a fucking cult. I swear, it's so weird. It's insane. It's the so crazy. Play, also, the biggest like l- l- like <clears throat> one level building. This mm. is the thing. Mega churches are always bungalows. Like they're fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah. It's like an arena with a roof, and it's just people like hur- like yay, dude. I didn't know how big like and like crazy mega churches were in the states. They're like dude, massive. Yeah, man. They're the size of like stadium, and there's they're always off the highway, and it's always like and like they're fucking everywhere, even they're in packed. places that like really don't matter. Mm-hmm. Sorry, but like, well, yeah. If you live down there, most of your towns don't matter. I'm yeah, sorry, they're not they're not real places. But I'm sure really. most folks know, <laughs> except for the people here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's and, the like, thing that mega churches like. You're breeding like. People who think they're main characters without deserving it, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's insane. This I think- whole family, and I detach this family and you from what you spoke. I declare every spirit attached. Yeah. Every- um, I'll have what he's having. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Y'all, you, you guys are... dance moves go kind of crazy there. You can- <laughs> Hold on. You guys are silent in bed. I'd be in my girl's ear like... This family and you from what you spoke. I... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> declare every spirit attached every spirit of when god removes the autism <laughs> jesus give him the old razzle dazzle dude <laughs> every spirit of mental illness i declare on three Whoa, no. did a handstand did a somersault. all must leave him in jesus name one yeah, for the audio listeners, this guy is fucking fully break dancing on yeah. the stage at a mega church because <laughs> because they're getting because they're removing the autism from his son. He's kind of doing like the the like the clock from Big Comfy Couch. He's kinda, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The clock. <laughs> Two, three, free. <laughs> you didn't check his Two, pulse. He's dead. <laughs> Killed him. <laughs> his heart's <stopped. laughs> Yeah, your son's gonna have a way better life now because you're a fucking dickhead. You're dead. You're, dead. you're yeah, a piece of you're, shit. You're fucking dead. Hallelujah! Now. Dude, insane. Also, as if like it would have just taken like an old one, two, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the count of three, like <laughs> yeah, a yeah. fucking disciplining parent. <laughs> I'm gonna count to three, Listen. and that autism better be counted. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, like telling you to clean your room. That's insane, dude. Um. Yeah, mega churches are wild. I would. Oh, that camera turned off. Why? Nice. As you know, uh, your boy and his uh, his fam, Mm -hmm. his family used to. uh, I used to be not a mega church kid, but I was a I was a J Dubs. You're Jehovah Witness. Jehovah's till I was Mm -hmm. like three. So I don't remember it. Right. You don't really remember what you witnessed, really, but. No, I witnessed Jehovah. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing you can witness. Isn't Hova Jay Z? Huh? Isn't that his name? Is, yeah, isn't that like one Jay-Z? of his like? Hova, like isn't that one of his like, like oh, nicknames? Yeah, I guess so. Maybe. I don't think. Yeah, Jeho- Jehovah. The one. Yeah, they're, when they talk about Jehovah, they're talking about Jay Z. Does he not call himself? Yeah, Ho. Yeah. Okay. He calls himself that. I guess that makes sense. Oh. Did he used to be a Jehovah's Witness? Is that what it says? Hova synonymous with Jehovah. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm going to say this for the first time in my life. This might be rooted, rooted in some truth. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. This is the first, you know what? I'm going to rejoin. Is that who we're been, we've been talking about? <laughs> Let's go. Okay, I cool. I call my grandparents and apologize. <laughs> yeah. They were just Jay Z stands, dude. Okay, they just fuck with the blueprint. All right. <laughs> yeah, cool. Well, that, I, uh, that Lincoln Park collab, dude, so sick. Lincoln if they Park should start, Jehovah they should collab? start a religion on dude, that. If you, if Lincoln Park made a religion, I'd fucking, mm, I'd be there. I'd be in. I'd be mm. going door to door, being like, "You heard the, you heard the, <laughs> you word? heard the gospel." <laughs> 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 
Yeah. <laughs> You're screaming in them in the other face. You guys ready for uh, the end? <laughs> yeah, you'll fuck with Meteora. Yeah, this exactly. is the Bible, dude. This is, this is that. That's actually a fuck, the perfect album. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I love Lincoln Park. Uh, rest in peace, rest Chester. In peace, um, but, yeah, man, mega churches are uh, kind of crazy. Pretty not mega, and not yeah, not yeah. Or, you know what might help? Call them epic churches. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kind of, kind of sick. <laughs> I'm going to epic church this going Sunday. To epic church. I'm going to bring my fucking pick, my, my, my diamond pickaxe in my fucking. <laughs> I'm a gwitty. I'm a gwitty to Gwitty-on. epic church on Sunday. I, uh, random church moment. <laughs> <laughs> random Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to be awkward, but have you heard the word of the good Lord, <laughs> our Lord and Savior? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Gwittying from door to door. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that Jesus Christ actually had quite a bit of whiz? For only f- uh, 500 V-Bucks a month, you can support yeah. Jehovah Witness. Only in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Epic Church in Ohio. <laughs> uh, That's yeah, so the, stupid. The, <laughs> the gospel of Willie Dunn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's the Wismas season. <laughs> we have a Wismas charity going on. A Jehovah's Wismas. <laughs> December twenty fifth. It's Wismas. <laughs> oh, that's so crazy. Um, and that's the uh, that's what uh, Mad Max is all about. <laughs> Witness me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whiz miss me. Whiz- <laughs> um. Okay, let's uh let's, let's let's change the subject a little bit. Yeah, we'll get off religion, religion, and all that. Okay, so <coughs> I got a I got I got something else to show you. Actually, we'll 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 got get a into this. Things on the dock. Yeah, some stuff that I I uh, I sort of gathered. Main a main one we'll talk about first, but so you and I we've been on the road a lot. Uh-huh. We toured, you know, yeah. a lot of you know a lot of late nights, you know, a lot yeah. of a lot of early flights, oh. you know, a lot of. We were just talking about that three a.m. one we had to do in the in Louis. Was it Florida to Louisiana? Uh, yeah. Uh, I think it I was think so, yeah. Florida to Louisiana, yeah. and then we had the show that night. Yeah, yeah. We're up at like. We were up at like morning, two in the yeah. morning. We left at like three thirty. It was shit. You know, we airport. we've been they let us in. <clears throat> yeah, they couldn't let us in because we were too early for the flight, which is bullshit. <clears throat> but again, you know, I don't know who knows. But um, <laughs> we've seen we've seen all the every travel hack. You know, uh, we've 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 you know we've had chips for breakfast. You know, we've we've lived like idiots. Cause I've been everywhere. Man. We've been everywhere. We we know the road, right? Yeah. A lot of especially in Australia. We've had a lot of uh, a lot. We took a lot of flights. Yeah, a okay. flight every day. A flight every you, day, pretty much. Your sinus, so you'd clear your sinuses that when you get off the plane. Next day, fill right back up. Fill right back up. We felt like shit the, the entire time. Get a crazy headache. Yeah. Land, yeah. Do a show. Pretend you're okay. Yeah. Have like back to bed. Have like twelve beers. Wake up at like six <laughs> like in the morning. Beers, <laughs> yeah. Six hundred like roast chickens. <laughs> yeah. Back to bed. Yeah. Act like fucking idiots. But <laughs> you know, on a, one of those flights, you know, sometimes. You wish you could. You miss. You miss um, home, right? You miss like cooking, right? That's 100%. like one thing. That's what I miss about you know traveling. It's like you don't get to cook in your own home. You don't. You don't. You don't get to cook as much as you like to. You don't get, yeah. Um, let yeah. Let let me cook. Yeah. Let me cook. Let him cook. Yeah. Let us cook. Um. So the video I want to show you sort of addresses that. I found this guy who has pretty much solved that issue of like. Oh, I know the. You've seen this guy? Is it the guy who cooks in the sink? Hey guys, I want to take a quick second to thank the sponsor of this episode, Displate. Folks, Displate is a one-of-a-kind metal poster designed to capture your unique passions. They've created a 21st century canvas that's sturdy as heck and is also magnet mounted so you don't have to worry about drilling holes in your walls. And you can customize, collect, and rearrange them at will because it only takes 20 seconds to put them up with no power tools, no damages, and no frustrations. And no matter what you're passionate about or what your aesthetic is, there are tons of amazing artworks that are perfect for you. There's cool and unique original pieces from insanely talented artists like this artist that I found named Yagadan. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong, but their art is super cool. They do like really awesome 80s inspired like synth wave art 
Super sick. All the original artwork is obviously amazing, but there's also hundreds of branded designs as well. Like this E.T. displate I got, or this Motley Crue vintage tour poster. And since it's the holiday season, I had to scoop up a Christmas Snoopy as well. And like I said, hanging these on your wall takes literally 20 seconds, dude. It's so easy, it's crazy. And on top of that, expected delivery is only four to five business days. And Displate is just a great alternative to standard paper impressions or canvas printing. So if you want to start collecting your passions and sprucing up your living space while also supporting artists, head over to Displate.com slash Very Really Good Podcast to try out Displate today. Again, that's Displate.com slash Very Really Good Podcast. So go check them out, okay? Tell them I sent you. All right, thank you so much, Displate. Back to the episode. And shit. I mean, yeah. no, Curtis. No, that's okay. Is it okay that I've have seen this you seen guy? his his newest video? I don't know. Maybe because they're all f- they're all insane. They're all like it's like this is how I boil processed cheese in my sink. All right. Yep, this is the guy. So this video is called Mile High Bathroom Garlic Shrimp and Mash. Oh, he does it in the plane. Dude, I've only seen the ones where he does in the hotel room. Dude, he, that's what I've seen because he's he pops up my food page all the time. Yeah. What's well, pretty he, incredible. It's pretty impressive. Like, he'll use, like, if you guys haven't seen him, he makes, you know what, we'll, we'll end, we'll, let's look through his normal shit first. <laughs> well, and I'll say, like, we're in a freaking recession. Yeah, but also, okay, I have one thing to combat that. Okay. <laughs> because he's but not if- saving money doing this. He, arguably, right. he could just buy, he, he could just go to, like, there are hotel rooms you can get if you spend a little bit more. He's spending like so much money on this foods that he gets just because I think he just enjoys Doing, cooking like what this. He can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like but it's also, more of like a. I'm also wondering is he a man about travel or is he just traveling for the sake of making these videos? Right, exactly. I mean, like aesthetic wise, he. Oh my God, that was the loudest thing I've ever heard in my life. Uh, aesthetic wise, I feel like, you know, he, he kind of gives off like trucker vibes, right? Yeah. So he could be a trucker, you know? Yeah, that's but, true. But let's see, he's got this one. It's called Hotel Bathroom Jerky. There's some copyright music, so I won't play it. So he's cutting up a steak in a hotel room. Trim that fat. Nice. He's putting it in a cup. <clears throat> and showing that, like, you don't need all the... Nest- you don't need a cutting board. Right. Yeah, yeah. True. I'm, use what I, I, I'm using what I got. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's got a bunch of paper cups. He's putting soy sauce, some chutney or something, onion powder, garlic powder. Okay. Uh. Yeah, you're right. Is he traveling with all that stuff? Exactly. You're going to the store that day, getting all the spices. Exactly. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just a little... So, okay, he's got, like, a dry, drying rack <laughs> for the, the beef. That's... <laughs> you know. A quick little snuggle of the pillow. He puts the... Dude, like, Man, yo. If you're, if you're the... Okay, a couple things. A maid's worst Number nightmare. one. <laughs> Sorry. I'm actually going to go my fisherman's friends because... Yeah, that's okay. A couple of things. If you're going to the airport <clears throat> and in your suitcase is like like a a rack for food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a bunch of spice. Like <laughs> that's gonna be a bit of a red flag. Right. Also, like, yeah, the 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 cleaning service in the hotel hates you. Yeah, because there's never fucking like beef juices on a well, I'm, who knows? <laughs> People are wow, Curtis. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. I thought you were a married man. <laughs> <laughs> There's never be like, yeah, you, you don't not in inside the pillow. Yeah, like that's where I would be like, are you like storing like cat heads or something here? Like, <laughs> okay, so he's put a hair blow like an air dryer. <laughs> he goes to bed, no, with it going, which I feel like is probably like a fire hazard. So, have you heard of be- people who like use their like? It's like, <clears throat> it's a thing on my uh, my Weird Obsession or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know that show on TLC? Yeah. It's like they put the hair dryer in <laughs> the bed with them. Okay. To like heat it up. Okay. My, I don't want to out anyone, mm-hmm. but I have a family member who does that. <laughs> really? Every night? Every night. Since I was a little kid. They put a hair dryer in the bed? Like under like the covers? Under the covers, just like next to her. Every night could like burn the house down yeah that's like super it's dangerous super dangerous so whoa she doesn't cook her food like that or nothing but <laughs> she cooks herself like yeah, that. She, yeah she cooks her fucking trousers off uh-huh. 
Okay, so he wakes up in the morning. The beef is all fucking dehydrated now. Like, honestly, though, like, it looks like fucking jerk. Like, it's impressive. But, like, that's one of them where I'm like, are you sure? (laughs) (laughs) Chewy success. Goated, Goated pillow jerky. And it's like, how much is a bag of jerky? Realistically. Oh, well, uh, jerky's getting pretty expensive now. That is true. These There's, days, jerky's pretty you go, expensive. You go into like 7-Eleven, it's like fucking 9 or 10 bucks for yeah. a, a small bag. But I guess, yeah, for like a, how much is a piece of steak? Like a couple pieces of steak? Probably more expensive, right? So it's not, it can't. It depends. You go to the right market. That's true. You can get a, you can get a nice cut of steak. Nice. For a good, nice rare, rare cut of, of <laughs> rare piece rare of, of meat. A bunch of water dumped on it. Okay, what else did he, uh, see what else he makes. Bathroom baby back ribs. No way. So he removes the membrane from the ribs. Nice. Rib rub. Yeah, just fucking getting meat <laughs> juice everywhere, dude. I also like thinking about like, you know how they do like the blue light stuff for hotels? <laughs> yeah. They do that, but it's just all fucking barbecue stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell happened? <laughs> You want to have a food fight here? <laughs> I was ready for cum. This guy comes barbecues us? <laughs> this guy comes like a dark red, big maroon guy. Okay, place your ribs in a 200 degree again oven. Again. Okay, with again with the... Oh, but that time he like locks it in. Wow. He's a meat thermometer? <laughs> he glazes it. Give it the old rub. Wow. Also, like... Aren't, like, you had a corn of cob? <laughs> a co- cob of corn? Corn of cob? Corn of cob. And a potato. Wow. Oh, dude, he had, like, a fucking... <laughs> That's a fucking badass. This guy's sick. Uh, sick to his stomach because there's no way that food was cooked. Easy French onion soup in my hotel sink. French onion soup? Impale some onions. No way. Whoa. What is that contraption? It's like a fucking... Like like a shawarma a, thing. Yeah, yeah. But like... Where do you get that? You don't just have like, those at hotels, no. right? you would be like, <laughs> where's your shawarma thing? <laughs> <laughs> Anything else we can help you with your Anything steak? You yeah, yeah, like a shawarma <laughs> stick or something. I've got like three onions that i got to cook down. I'm going to make French onion <laughs> soup in my room. Do you have like a dehydrator for my jerky I'm going to make in the room? You guys got an extra pillowcase? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so he's making gravy. Oh, he's making stock in the sink. Just fucking yo, dude. Like, well, like the yo, they, they are not cleaning those sinks the way you think. Look at this fucking frame here, dude. That is, dude. That's that is the biggest has, fire hazard I've. I think I've <clears throat> not to be a fucking safety nerd, an, but like yeah. that is so dangerous, dude. Yeah, uh, you're what you're gonna. Sh- what is that? The what are the, the those things like to sous vide stuff? Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> dude, you're, you. You're you, you okay? This is ridiculous because yes, you're saving on the fact that like, oh, this is what you can make in a hotel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you got to spend money on like a fucking sous vide. Yeah, and, and you, then the shawarma stick. And you also have to look the hotel receptionist in the eye when you check out and in. Yeah, be like also like yeah, I'm not gonna do anything crazy here. I'm just I'm gonna, gonna order in. I'm well, just gonna see the, the menu <laughs> let me see the menu food. so I can wipe my ass with it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you guys. So I can use it as kindling for the wood oven that I'm making <laughs> yeah, in, the, yeah. in the bathroom. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to make a potion. Yeah, like, I imagine make like a wood oven pizza tonight. Imagine like he needs to leave for a second like for, to like go get something that he forgot. And maybe he doesn't have a spice rub. And he leaves <laughs> this on. And then like maybe the maids come in to like check on the room and they see that. I'd fucking call the... I'd be like, he's building a bomb. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> he's building he's a building fucking building bomb in here. Bomb. He's building an onion bomb. Those and, are bad. Like, but also, like, you'd have to, like, look at them and be like, how much wattage <laughs> per room do you guys allow? Yeah. I don't want to blow a circuit in the whole building. <laughs> I don't want to kill everybody in here because of my French onion soup. Yeah. yeah, like, dude. Dude, you're building an ecosystem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. What contraption is that? Is that a beer can on the end of a stick? Yeah. All right. You know, I, I, I Jimmy rigged a beer can on a stick. But <laughs> I also have this other equipment. <laughs> At this point, just in the cook, toilet. You okay, don't okay. Flush You're flushing onions. toilet. Good, good, good. 
I mean, I guess I have diarrhea, like onion said. What are my toilet? <laughs> yeah, it's actually your toilet. Your toilet would be pretty happy with onions. Yeah. <laughs> smells a lot better than what I do. <laughs> okay, like, yo, dude. At this point, cook at home. Yeah, dude. It's just like, he has, clearly has, like, cooking knowledge, right? So I haven't seen one of his videos. I guess I haven't seen one in a while. Because, mm-hmm. like, what I'm used to with him is, like, this is, like, like... Showing you like a hotel a little more like realistic. Yeah. Now it's getting out of control. Yeah. And it, he's uh he's graduated from hotels to uh to airplanes. To airplanes. And honestly, uh, you know, I'll say it. What is the deal with airline food? Yeah. With absolutely. airplane food. But and don't I mean, call me Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> so mile high bathroom garlic shrimp and mash. Let's see how he does this. Well <laughs> Alright, I think he talks. We gotta hear him. I got a terrible Okay. Roll away. Okay. Okay. First off, turn the music down, man. Yeah. He said he's got a bad idea. He also is like. He's not driving a truck either. He's driving like a sedan. So. Not a trucker. Well. But also, he's kind of like, uh, like uh, Iron Man adjacent, like our old bus driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. he does give he's, off Iron Man vibes. I got a bad idea, brother. I got a bad idea. We're going to cook a stream on playing. <laughs> Looking so suspicious in the, yeah. in the security line. Yeah, that's the thing. He made it. Okay, let's just keep. Playing. Also, they don't. Yeah, they don't let you bring in food. No, I don't, he somehow smuggled instant mashed potatoes and shri- and shrimp, frozen shrimp, frozen shrimp, extra large shrimp. How the fuck did he get that past security? Well, he is the great value. Jack Black is what he kind of looks like. So I get <laughs> the great value. He's got to be the great. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. He's gotta on brand. Got to keep it great value. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, you can't get through TSA with that. Okay, he's got the... It's on a Delta flight. He goes in the bathroom, he makes a... Dude, we brought in a 9-volt battery. <laughs> Yo! No way! He brought in a fucking battery. He's gonna jumpstart the plane? Dude, oh my god! Also to have, like, the, like... Yeah, the cigarette lighter charger. Also, where is he going to plug that in? You're not allowed to smoke in a plane. There's no way they have those. Yeah. I don't... Like, yeah, true. It's not a plane from the 90s where you could smoke on the plane. <laughs> so he somehow smuggled two... He smuggled a bunch of batteries and cords and shit into the airplane. He's making like he a... put a wire in the sink, which is totally safe. <laughs> yeah. Using the baby dyer, the diaper changer to as a... So that'll, like, boil the shrimp, I guess? And then he uses that to make the mashed potatoes in the fucking... Dude. dude. You know how gross that airplane no, bathrooms are, dude? Yeah, like, that's... I will do dude, anything not to even shit. Go in there. I will, I will do anything not to go in the, into an airplane bathroom. I've never pooped on a plane. Really? Never. i pooped wow. on a train. I've never pooped on a plane. Damn. Also... You walk into those bathrooms, already does it smell like piss and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, And he's putting f- raw... Not only are you mixing with your hands and all that, like, that's... you d- In the sink? Like, at least at the hotel, they cleaned it before you got in there. Yeah, dude. Dude, they, they barely spray that shit down. No. Ugh. He eats it. No way. He puts it in the fucking barf bag, which it literally looks like it barf looks already. Like, it looks like barf. Dude, yeah, and using the change table. And then just That's leaving. Where- <laughs> <laughs> and then eating gar. Yo, if my okay, if I was on a plane, and the guy next to me got up, went to the bathroom, and came back with, <laughs> with potatoes shrimp. and shrimp, dude, I would do it. I would have. <laughs> I, would be, I would be smashing that fucking button all up the way. There. Something's wrong. <laughs> Something's wrong with this guy. He just conjured some shit. Is shrimp. there a problem? Is there? A, wait, is there a marshal? Uh, an air marshal on here? Arrest this man. Arrest. It's not. This might as well be a terrorist because <laughs> this is disgusting. And then yeah, he just eats it with his fucking hands. Brother, success. <laughs> Yo, that's disgusting. That is like a surefire way to get put on a no-fly list, I feel like. 100 percent That is like he's doing a speed run. I also speed like run as maybe TSA was like, let's see what he does. <laughs> yeah. 
We'll let this one slide. Because, like, for sure, someone who works at the fucking... It has so many views, dude. Well, it's, uh, it's absolutely rotten. It's, uh, it's disgusting. It's pretty foul. He's got that video I, has how many views? Uh, almost a million views. Someone has to work at fucking the TSA or Delta board, or Delta, and he's got to be put on a fucking. And that could you imagine like if it's a Delta flight, the way you do it? Yeah, the fucking no, yeah, 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 Delta's fucking. I'm a frequent flyer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm That's, just imagining like him going through like TSA in the future, and like a pop up is being like check. Passenger for shrimp and potatoes. <laughs> yeah, along with like, remove your laptops, remove your shoes, remove your shrimp. frozen garlic shrimp. <laughs> we, it's along with nail clippers and razors, you cannot have shrimp. No shrimp. Not it's, after what happened. It's so gross, dude. He, that's that 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 one's I think top tier grossest. Yeah, things dude. I've seen. I can't. Cause also, yeah, like if you, you can't you can't go to the bathroom. Also, if you're waiting to go, if you're waiting to take a shit at a bathroom, in the air, in the, in a fucking airplane, you have to shit so bad. And and yeah. you're, someone's been there for like fucking how long does it take to Cold do all shrimp. that? Like twenty minutes, <laughs> easy. Get so he's probably someone's battery. banging on the door the whole fucking time. You're like, yeah, I have the shit. Let me I, in. Yeah. And then he finally leaves. There's potatoes, and shrimp everywhere. Yeah, and you're like, tails and <laughs> what the hell happened in here? I think that, oh, well, cause like, yeah, not only, are you, or like, you know how like some people, when like, as soon as the seatbelt sign is off, mm-hmm. people run into the bathroom. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, could you imagine if he was like second in line? <laughs> right. Someone was already in there. Yeah. And then he had to go in and be like, oh, it's for the video. It's okay. <laughs> I have to make it. Yeah, I like, have to do it. It's a... Uh, Dude, it's just there's so there's so much that you really got to plan out. Yeah, and for what? Like now you're eating like unseasoned weird shrimp and mate. You can have, there's food on the plane. Yeah, and also I, like you know how you get out of paying extra money for food on the plane? Get yourself a nine volt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Spend more money on electronics exactly. that you'll never need again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, super dangerous. Also, like, could you? <laughs> I'm picturing like someone on a plane. Maybe they like gave out the. Uh, the fucking um, like the the meal that you get the free meal, yeah. And someone ate the the pasta or something, and unknowingly it had like shellfish in there that they're yep. allergic to, not sitting well with them. They're like, I gotta go to the bathroom. I just had shrimp; it's <laughs> not sitting well. <laughs> and then he runs out of there, and there's shrimp fucking everywhere. No, <laughs> like, I'm gonna puke. I'm gonna puke. <laughs> Dude. Oh god, what kind of plane? <laughs> this is my nightmare. Shrimp airlines. <laughs> No, how did I not notice this? Yeah, it's and one of you'll those. Be sitting here in uh, shrimp class. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shrimp up the lobster ma- class, shrimp mackerel. Yeah, yeah. crawfish <laughs> class. Yeah. yeah, on the bottom feeders in the back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, Dude, uh, it's I like just joined the mile shrimp club. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of those uh, planes where it's like you know when you buy like an Air Canada, but it's like operated by Delta. Yes, it's yeah, like you yeah. bought a Delta. Delta, but it's operated by Shrimp yeah, yeah, Airlines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna make a. We gotta make a, a. I have a connection in the in the Mariana Trench. <laughs> yeah, in, in some fucking bayou or something. <laughs> yeah, can I get the? Yeah, I'll, I'll take my Cajun seat. <laughs> oh, I, dude. Uh, yeah, fucking crazy. Super duper gross. I don't like that. He's so. creative. I like the hotel stuff. It's like whatever. I mean, sure. it, like if he cleans up after himself, that's great. He obviously didn't though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, who knows? It's, but, I, but probably not. He's yeah. also the type of guy who I would imagine would, like, ask to go, like, sit in the cockpit, like, during the flight. You know <laughs> yeah, I mean? yeah. Like, can I fly this? Can I fly this plane? <laughs> How do you guys do that? <laughs> <laughs> I actually play a flight simulator on my phone. So. I would like to try. I'll give you some shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want some potatoes? I just cooked it back in the... I got I back potatoes back, back in my seat. They got a kitchen back there. A kitchen back there. <laughs> well, I got a kitchen back there. I can play with my 9-volt battery. <laughs> <laughs> I got to charge my phone. <laughs> yeah, I have this gun. Is this okay? <laughs> <laughs> Master smuggler. Barfly. I mean, yeah. yeah, plane is a little bit too far. I feel like everyone should just, in a plane, everyone should sit down. Don't do anything fucking crazy. Yeah. Sit down, watch your shit, and then get up and leave. Like yeah, that- Planes already make me so anxious. I don't know how he fucking did that. Yeah, in the middle of the in the I, middle of the air. Yeah, I always assume that people are people are gonna think that I am just gonna 
I'm just like everyone is staring at me on an airplane. Yep. I th- yeah. I'm so conscious of everything I, I do. Hate standing up on an airplane. Oh my god. Because I yeah. like when people turn their head, they're I know that they're like this fucking asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. fucking piece of oh, shit. You're oh, you're getting up. You couldn't pee? sit down for a couple oh, hours. Really? Cool. You you sh- stretch your legs. Good, good, huh. good. Wow. That's awesome. Pussy. Or le- putting your chair back. Ugh. Oh my god! I because like people could uh, you can smash your chair into my face. <laughs> I don't give a darn. I would. I can't do it because no. I'm so embarrassed. I'm ready for someone to be like, "How? F- who do you think you are?" Because even if they're not really messing with your space, even when they do that, you're like this fucking guy. Wait, are you tired? Are you a little sleepy? Tired? Flight's fucking two hours. two hours. Come on, you're fine. We're not even getting a meal on this flight. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Wake up. I have to fucking go cook a bunch of potatoes back there, dude. (laughs) Wake up! Damn. Well, how long have we been fucking... Damn, we're an hour already. All right. Holy shit. All right, we can probably wrap it up. Hell yeah. Well, guys. Don't do do any of that crap. Don't do any of that crap. Don't do any of that stuff we saw today. Order the potatoes and shrimp at the the airport restaurant. Eat it before. Eat... Eat food, like eat food at the airport. Support restaurants. Don't, <laughs> yeah, this is not. This it. is not good. This is not. This is not it. Support your local mom pa restaurants <laughs> at the airport. <laughs> yeah. Just, also, he uh, says, in his, I love in his bio. It says, "No hotel has been harmed or is in risk of being harmed." My guy, well, we just saw hotels being harmed brother, by you. You had like an open like car engine <laughs> on your like heating up your onions. So I think yeah, I think it was in danger for a second. For a small second, <laughs> like the electric company was like, "It's going over on uh, cool. the Holiday Inn." Yeah, <laughs> surging like it's crazy. Really, yeah, it's redlining like crazy. <laughs> All right, we'll wrap yeah. it up. But thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, Jacob. Thanks hey, for anytime, coming on. Buddy. Great, great to have you back. And uh, back. like. Comment, subscribe, check out the Patreon. Uh, you know, go support the pod if you want. We got bonus episodes over there. Go follow Jacob. Go subscribe. Go watch his stuff. His, his podcast, his YouTube. He's fucking crushing it, mate. So uh, go check him out. And thanks again, as always. Love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Love you guys. Love you, Kurt. Don't. And if I see one comment about my slippers, yeah, I'll burn them. <laughs> I'll learn my lesson. Okay, damn. <laughs> I'll read all the comments. <laughs> all right, see you guys. Bye. Bye.